mild breezy uh, for us this afternoon and then the colder air filters in tonight and tomorrow. And when we say cold, we mean Arctic air that will be blasting its way through. So for today, our clouds are going to be on the increase. Our wind speeds will also go up and our temperatures will be unseasonably warm. We look to top out near that 70 degree mark. Now this cold front is going to move in as it does. Once some of that cold air catches up to what little moisture is associated with it, we could have a few flakes flying. But what you're really going to notice is just how low these temperatures bottom out. We're talking teens and 20s when we wake up both Sunday morning and Monday morning. Now you head into next week we will be slow, but we are going to rise from highs in the 40s followed by 50s and even 60s. So we're going to be on that upswing. We just got to hit rock bottom first. Right now we're waking up 42 degrees overlooking Nashville on this beautiful Friday morning. You had to wait over into Lawrenceburg. Y'all are mild 48 to start off. The power five radars clean dry sweeps and we are mostly clear outside. Our system is going to make its way. So obviously ahead of it, while compression takes place. That's what allows our temperatures to spike and then you accompany some gusty winds. It really just bolds it and amplify amplifies those temperatures right now, though we've got some 30s and 40s out there with winds light out of our south and then they are going to be gusting throughout the day 35 even 40 miles per hour at times and Leland. It's not just a one or two our time frame we're talking it's going to be windy all day long even headed into the overnight. Yeah, definitely so ahead of this front moving into the mid south. Right now we head to the Lebanon area or at the hour uh, you're 48 with our camera there from the Dreams Boutique overlooking uh, the downtown area there of Lebanon for us this morning. Uh, check out the smile here oh on Savannah uh, courtesy of Pam Loftus there. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the 40s this morning and then quickly pushing into the upper 60s later today. We're mid 60s by lunchtime and then highs near the 70 degree mark going into the afternoon. So Nashville right around 69 to 70 or 69 as you head to Columbia 67 Shelbyville and then 68 back over toward the Fayetteville area. Here's how things play out for us on exact track. So a lot of sunshine for the beginning of the morning. Partly cloudy by midday by the end of the day, mostly cloudy out there. Couple of hit and miss showers for us for tonight. Overnight tonight, late tonight into tomorrow morning, as cold air comes in, any showers out there may have a little bit of a snow mix to them, but nothing very impressive there that shows up here on exact track. As we go through tomorrow, fair amount of cloud cover throughout the course of tomorrow. So I think tomorrow is just a raw day, mostly cloudy, cold, uh, spotty shower, maybe a couple of spotty snowflakes for us out there. Then as we head toward tomorrow evening and especially tomorrow night, clearing skies out there that opens the door for sunshine back in here for you on Sunday, but it will be cold uh, our seven days. So 69 today, 36 tonight. Temperatures at 39 tomorrow. We are dry on Sunday, then a little better next week. Yes, things are really looking up. So for Valentine's Day, we're waking up in the teens and 20s with highs in the mid 40s. Dry conditions. Tuesday, we're in the mid to upper 50s, followed by mid 60s. Wednesday, we're going to have some Gulf moisture moving in. Thursday, bringing some rain showers, possibly a few thunderstorms as well, with temperatures in the mid 60s. It's going to feel a little swampy out there, but don't get comfortable. Change is always right around the corner.